I am moving to Xbox to play the GWC. So I will record my whole process from creating the team at the beginning all the way to when we hopefully win the European Championship. I only shoot and score, then if you score, then we'll come. Oof. Yeah, what's up guys, Eki here. Welcome to the final episode of Road to Gaming World Championships. I am the NHL European Champion for the third time. Oh my god. Of course, feels insane. What a run we've had. Uh, this video, straight to the point. Let's have a recap of the European Top 8 Finals. My first round against Jamal the man. Didn't really know Jamal coming into this tournament. I've only played him a couple times overall, so it was a very hard series to get into. But he actually knocked out last year's European Champion, Artut in the qualifiers so I knew I had to be ready this series went into the deciding third game if you didn't know this tournament is single elimination best of three so simple if you lose one best of three series you're out of the tournament even though I won my first game quite convincingly I wasn't the most confident in myself and I ended up losing game two during the first two games I was kind of figuring myself out I have a bad habit of switching my strategies a lot which messes up with my gameplay so when things weren't working for me in game two I started switching my strategies a lot but the problem is i practiced the whole week with one set of strategies and me switching that up was very bad so in game three i just decided that i will play this tournament with the strats i've practiced with and uh i'll live with the results so full focus game three ended up winning 6-0 this game was closer than 6-0 to be honest i capitalized on all of my chances and ended up going to the semi-finals i have to give a huge credit to jamal during the championship day he was for me the toughest opponent i had a hard time figuring him out and also after the series he actually gave me a tip to play my first line as much as possible even though they're tired he said it's impossible to play against my first line which is wheeler crosby and marchand and i kind of took that into semi-finals and finals so props to jamal for that of course i know my first line was very good but still hearing that from someone else and uh, getting feedback of your gameplay it's actually very important because sometimes it's hard to do that yourself semi-finals against eken 45 junior eken the two-time reigning swedish champion actually just friday won the european bolts tell challenge and won five thousand dollars so i knew he had a huge confidence going into the games game one started out slow it was kind of feeling out process at the start but man from the first egan game onwards i felt like things were happening for me automatically it wasn't like against jamal where i had to think a lot of stuff through I, the stuff was just happening for me and that felt very good even though egan is a fantastic player of course i felt i could shut him down very good egan plays four lines behind the net so i know what he likes to do not that much to say about this series for all Olofsson makes it has a one-time opportunity and scope buries it as it will be the former world champ and two-time european champ taking game number one in this series if he can keep that going on defense maybe set up a little bit more in the offensive zone and again break behind the net that'll give him some opportunities but how about Eki? Oh, went right into the game and, <laughs> and there's the Eki cross crease well one of the more prominent streamers in all of finland yeah at one point he was the top streamer never mind that for a second Eki makes it two nothing with a one-timer goal gates it forward to wheeler penalty has expired back to full strength Eki just looking to dance in front of the net and actually will get there. Dangerous positioning. Nice passing there. Finally to Crosby at 3 0. Everyone should know. I, I actually have a prediction. I MVP caliber. If the Canadians win this series, go on to the Stanley Cup finals, but they don't win the Stanley Cup, but Carey Price still plays as well as he has, he wins the Conn Smythe. Got it! Oh, there by Eki gonna make that mistake a beautiful backhand finish and uh it looks like this might be the end of Ekin and his incredible run back in a final where many people believe where exactly he belongs i think we're gonna be joined by Eki momentarily as well the man who's gonna fight for another european champion chip again for the third time and of course a former world champion as well Eki joining us uh congratulations man like especially that second game it felt like from the third period of the first game on you just took control can you take us like was there a moment in the third period that you got confidence or what was it that led to that dominance especially starting from that point um first two periods of game one was kind of checking checking how uh, Eken plays uh, even though I know how he how he plays GVC is, is a bit different 
And uh, pretty early on I noticed that I have a, I have an advantage here. I, I could shut down his uh, rush is pretty good. I feel like Eken is the most dangerous on counter attacks. And after that I felt like he maybe got a bit frustrated. And after I got the co couple goals and the lead, uh, luckily my defense worked. Yeah, you played incredible from start to finish. You really adapt and, and even stuck to your game plan. Um, I do want to bring this up now that we're here, Eki. Can you please explain the reason behind the buzz cut and if maybe it's helping your play a little bit today? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, I bet in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs that Toronto will win Montreal. Um, I bet my hair on it didn't happen. My hairline is not great, but you know, maybe it helps gameplay wise. <laughs> Listen, Eki, hey, I'm you know you, what? Dude. If you, right? I just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you make it to the end of this thing and come out on top, the buzz cut has to stay. I know it was for a bad no, reason, no. maybe a reason you didn't like, but I mean, hey, a win's a win. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> so you you have Nikki. Let, let, let's let's not talk about the Leafs, okay? The, listen, I will say this, no. Eki. Basically, because you are representing the Leafs in this tournament this is the most success in the postseason the leafs have had in over a decade because of you so if there's anything to take away from this it's that so now you are going into the final now you're vying for another european championship and you have nikki dangles standing in your way uh who is a relative newcomer at least to the gwc fans what do you make of this matchup well, I know I know Nick very well. A very young guy. I played him multiple times. We played, like Nick said in the interview before, like 15 games this week. Um, I kind of know where I stand, but again, tournament is different. There's no nerves involved. Um, it's it's quite not not the same gameplay. We'll see how it goes, uh, but hopefully I come out on top. Finals against Nick Dangles, probably the most familiar player for me in this whole tournament. We practiced about 15 games against Nick Dangles against each other. I won most of my games, so I know kinda where I was at, but at the same time, tournament games are way different. But same thing against Nick Dangles than Eken. Nick plays four lines behind the net, so it was a very good transition for me going from Eken to Nick, because they both try to score in similar ways behind the net. Also, a thing you might not think about against Eken, I think my ping was 23, and against Nick. I believe it was 11. So the connection felt better against Nick, and that kind of gave me confidence right away. I felt like I could play better in the finals, so that was a nice confidence booster. That's the thing when you play online. Things like this actually matter. I will leave you to the finals highlights. Second period underway, Eki with a 2-1 to one lead. This is game number one. This is a three-game final. Eki bringing it forward there. Had a lot of space to work with as well. Still has it. Dangerous positioning there. Leonard stands tall. Besser from the from the point. Price makes the save. Third period. Eki holding on to a two to one lead. Here's Uyghur. Uyghur looking for a dangerous, and the puck was there in front of the net, and it's three to one for Eki now. For Eki, who's looked very strong and unforgiving. Three to one. <laughs> Just, oh my goodness. Oh, just like that, folks. Another unfortunate bounce for Nikki. Went into a dive to try to prevent that pass from going it through the middle. Instead, it bounces off his stick, goes five four. I have to say, I completely forgot about this, but looking back on this game one against Nick, I got lucky, man. Three of my goals came from unfortunate bounces, but man, this is NHL, we all know this can happen. We are playing for a European Championship, so I'll take it. For game number one, Eki with a 4-1 to one victory in the driver's seat. Yeah, look at that. 12 minutes and 26 seconds TOA to 5 minutes and 46 seconds. So more than double there for Eki. Double on the shots as well. So if you're getting two times the opportunity, yes, we talked about those lucky bounces, but you're getting double the opportunities, you're bound to get a couple good bounces then and again as we get ready for game number two. Game is underway. Eki with a 1-0 series lead. Remember, he stormed out of the gates in the series against Ekin, looking to do the exact same way. Eki already 1-0. Did I even freaking drink here? <laughs> see if Eki can do much of this game here, or if Nikki has an answer. And that doesn't help his cause. 
a routine wraparound on the backhand. Able to create space like that. Remember, these two have scrimmed extensively leading up to this. Here's Eki now. Nice pass to Suzuki in the face-off circle in the offensive zone. Misses the net with the shot. The power play for Eki. Roars! I don't know how many times we're going to say the name. Sidney Crosby, Blake Wheeler. Again and again. Guess who that was, Arda? You know it. We had Blake Wheeler and Sidney Crosby making the passes and Marshawn on the back door. These quick rushes are absolutely killing Nicky Dangles. Really gonna have to get the offense set up and maybe get something going, but he's gonna have to stop Eki again. Almost 30 seconds in, he's got that set play. Nicky needs to do somehow some way get back into this game because it's all or nothing now the kitchen sink you got to throw it now and here he comes here's patrick kane back skate nice pass to line a but carrie price was in position miller has it winds up and scores can nikki dangles parlay this into a terrific comeback yes. ample amount of time and there's a lucky bounce for nikki dangles it is now a one goal game Ooh. Pick up your phone and hold it, Arda. This game is not over yet. And here's Kane to Vlasic, passing in the neutral zone. Miller, JT Miller, the goal scorer, looking to backskate through. Eki says, think twice about that. Here comes Wheeler for Eki. Three to two game over the halfway point of the game. Eki scores! Regains a two goal lead. Tufty! You know this top line is all too good. Wheeler, Crosby cutting back door, and Marshawn even following up behind Crosby. A great response to the 3-0 scoreline. If anything, he has kept himself in this game. Minute 30 to go in the second period, 4-2. to two. As your score, Tatar. As Wheeler's gonna bring this up, trying to find that back door. As he brings the puck up the zone. Curling around once to Suzuki. Suzuki, another great curl at the point. Eki not afraid to bring that puck up to the point and work it around. Oh. Up to the point, now down low. He's gonna wait for Nicky Dangles to make a mistake and then find that back door. Oh, he he does. Does. Not bad for Nicky Dangles, still making $5,000 as the runner up in this tournament. And can lay claim to being the second best player in Europe this year at NHL 21. But Eki, the first world champion in GWC, surprised many people that year and continued his success becoming a two-time European champion and now for the third time Eki is the king of the continent the most decorated player in European history in NHL video gameplay once again is the champion of Europe congratulations to Eki What else can you say, Nasher, other than complete dominance and you can see on his face what it means to him? He's on the screen right now. I wonder if he can hear us so we can talk to him. Eki, can you hear us? Oh, I, can't, I can't hear you. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Congratulations once again, the European champion. And I want to start on your journey, man. 2020 wasn't a good year to you in terms of Chell competition, but here you are now as you sit. You are the European champion. It's been a roller coaster ride. Take me through those emotions, man. How does it feel? Uh, hard work pays off. Was of course disappointed last year. I put every, sorry, sorry for cursing. I put every, everything to it, to this, everything. So many hours. Sometimes this week wasn't looking the best, but stuck to my gameplay. Kinda uh, switched a few things up, but just an unreal, unreal feeling. You know, it's like. I don't know. After the first one, I feel like every every single one just feels better. Even though this was online, this is 
This is special, man. Yeah, man. Can we just talk about uh, the excitement and the energy that you brought to this uh, this series right here? Scoring goals in the first 30 seconds of both of your games. Walk us through those goals and kind of your mindset going into it. Did you want to get those goals as quickly and as early as possible? Not really. Like, first of all, my first line scored like 80% of my goals today. Uh, Brad Marchand, 91 overall. Everybody passed on him in the draft. I took him, I think, in the seventh round or something. Scored like 50% of my goals today. So I feel like my draft was, was very good. Uh, they delivered, but to the start of games, of course, you want to want to get a lead against these guys. It helps your, helps your game so much, but yeah, just... I think the main thing is just to be focused from from the first minute. You were dominant, man. Like like it was the same pattern against Ekin that we saw against Nikki. First two periods of game number one almost felt like a feeling out process, and then starting from the third period, it was just absolute domination. Now Nikki was able to score a couple goals in game two, but it just felt like the same pattern. Like, how did it feel from your end in terms of the series comparing the two? Well, first of all. Since NHL 20, I've had trouble against top, play top players in Europe, like defensively. Uh, I feel like I've improved offensively all the time, but defensively things haven't been there. But uh, like this week, I, uh, I didn't qualify for the Bolt Jail Challenge that Aiken won. Um, it was versus, it was played on online versus. So I was like, I need to switch something here because clearly something isn't working. And uh, I went kind of back to my NHL 18 gameplay. Very slow, very patient. Even though it might not look that fancy or that's like that special, but I just try to be as patient as possible in every situation. Play defense first and then see what comes comes up offensively. This was I'm very happy with the way I played today. Completely what I thought. My best game could look like today. Um, I've had games and and this year seven six five six in every tournament. So it's uh it's good that I figured this out. I figured this out before these games. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, listen, it was a dominant, and then it was very reminiscent, like you said, when you won the world championship there. Last question for you. You now are twelve thousand dollars richer. This is your full time job. This is what you grind all day every day. Uh, what do you plan to do with the money? Oh, just save, just save. <laughs> I'm, uh, I just, uh, I just bought a new apartment, so I'm pretty broke right now. So 12k, 12k feels good. Feels good in the bank. Congratulations to you, and enjoy the time off. Thank you so much, uh, everybody working in the TVC. Uh, big ups, I appreciate it. Arda Nasher, great job as always. Thank you for running this tournament, NHL, uh, from. From my from the whole community i guess thank you and uh, yes let's go not that much to say after that he's great <laughs> let's talk a bit about the gameplay i continue on the things i said in the live interview during the past couple of years especially nhl 20 and nhl 21 i have tried to play pretty fast paced counter attack hockey with a lot of creativity but it wasn't really getting me the tournament results yes i have won tournaments here and there but during these one and a half years i have never felt truly in control of the games like i wanted to i always think of defense first and then let the offense come to me me playing that fast counter-attack hockey wasn't really good for my defense so a lot of my previous games have ended 6-5 7-6 a high lots of high scoring games i just decided i will play super simple play very slow cut all the fancy shit. <laughs> Sometimes might not look that special. I scored most of my goals in the tournament the exactly the same way. Be as patient as possible and wait for the cross crease to open up. And also wait for the perfect opportunity in the neutral zone to enter into the zone. It's a very frustrating game style, very hard to play against. Because in all of these games I had the puck more than my opponent. And then when they do have the puck, I try to be as patient as possible in defense as well. Not really give my opponent anything free. And I think this was the big difference. Limiting my own game speed, thinking of every decision and just simply in the offensive zone sometimes it might not look uh, the most fancy but look for that freaking one-timer or any other high quality scoring chance and just do not take any other shots that worked for me now and uh not sure if i keep playing like this i think i've learned it's good for me to keep the game speed very low so i keep doing that but the one thing is i feel like it's a bit of a shame that you can play this simple offense that you can in nhl 21 i feel like in nhl 21 and nhl 20 it has been harder to intercept passes than in any other nhl i kind of hope it switches up because uh 
um, honestly, I don't love how you score goals right now in 1v1. I don't. But that's the thing. To win in any tournament, you have to adapt to what the meta is, what works in the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, to end this off, this has been an unreal series. I had some ups and downs, but we are here. Hopefully you enjoyed this series. I think we will have the road to Gaming World Championship every year going on forwards and i appreciate all of you guys watching and supporting this series and this channel in general we are closing in on that 20k subscriber mark which is absolutely nuts so for that as well thank you when we hit the 20k mark i will give you guys the tour of this apartment so yeah looking forward to that now it's time to enjoy the summer i will still bring some content to you before nhl 22 i will still play hood champs try some different challenges but other than that man it's the summer <laughs> time to go outside time to enjoy it also there might be some tournaments still coming who knows of course i will always play those but my main goal for nhl 21 is completed and uh you know the amount of work you put into these tournaments like when you win of course you're happy but the main emotion is just relief it's kind of more of not wanting that feel of losing like i freaking hate that feeling <laughs> but anyways i felt like i've talked way too long here everyone thank you for watching if you enjoy the content feel free to subscribe have a great day enjoy the summer See you next time. By the way, look at this picture from NHL 18. They showed this in the introduction. Why in the world am I that far away from the monitor? <laughs> oh, looks funny to me now because nowadays I'm like straight in front of it. Other thing is I've had this massive forward lead. <laughs> nowadays I just play with my back in the chair. It's better for your back and uh, more chill anyways. But yeah, see ya.